Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Kirby Air Ride. So, I didn't record yesterday, I just spent the entire day just staring at achievements. And it seems like there's quite a few that are just like, do random thing while taking first place. And that's just kind of, I don't know, it's, that's kind of weird. But, um, I do need to finish showing off all of the courses. So let's do the next course with uh, Bob, Jared, and Jacoby. So Magma Falls, I do believe there is an achievement for getting smacked by the Fire Dragon. Which there are Fire Dragons in this stage, and then there are Fire Dragons in the uh, City Trial, kind of by the Volcanoes. Which, whenever we do that video, I need to remember to, to go and explore more of the city. Interesting, so the bird actually... The bird, you don't actually get boost from the boost panel and that was another like when I was saying do arbitrary thing and then get first place okay apparently I did something probably quick spinning 50 guys or whatever maybe that unlocks the shadow star I don't know um, but yeah there's there's a lot of them that are just swallow three of this enemy and then take first place here's the fire dragons Okay, I got hit. <laughs> I think from my past playthroughs, uh, that is at one of those purple checkboxes. This part in, at the end here is going to be the bane of my existence whenever I'm doing these laps. Oh man, that is going to suck. Okay, goodbye. Guy's quite quick. He's swift. Magma... Flows? Is that what it's called? Yeah, it's magma flows. Oh, that part's weird. Yeah, it's just like a very difficult course to race. There's a lot of turns that you can mess up. A lot of areas. Yeah, like here's another part where you can turn and lose a lot of speed. This part where you go up, and if you're on certain vehicles, it's just kind of... I don't know, man. It can really mess you up. It can really get you. Here's another spot where it's kind of difficult to turn. I don't know if I need to keep quick, quick spinning people, but I'm going to keep doing it anyway. So I don't need to hit the fire dragon and fire dragons anymore. Only that one guy, huh? Am I getting close to lapping them or something? I wonder why I keep getting airborne. It strikes me as odd. Another bun another group of achievements are just like, you know, like finish X course in this amount of time and then the time is so lenient your like youngest grandchild could do it. <laughs> Magma flows in under two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bum to the Dragon gives you a purple one and spinning enemies gives you the Shadow Star. So now let's check this out. One hit punishes foes, fly on evil wings. Did I ever read these slow on the ground but a great glider? Can't charge up, but it has good points. Cruise stop, cruise stop. One hitch punishes flows. There's like a world record by a Chinese player of somebody playing with this star. I don't know. I don't know how it works. One hit punishes foes. I really want to hit an enemy and see what it does. Because it seems like a very offense driven vehicle. It makes an interesting noise. I haven't really used it very much. Inhaling people doesn't seem to do much. Not a very good stage for testing it, I guess, because I need to... <laughs> I don't really know how to control it, which is a problem when <laughs> when you are using... It's hard to navigate magma flows, and I don't know how to navigate the Shadow Star, so it's a match made in hell, which uh, this place kind of looks like hell. Uh, there's a bunch of achievements, I think, that I'm remembering from my failed Let's Play in 2020. Um, well, it did something. It's a huge AoE attack, so I may as well do that. Maybe, like, killing a thousand enemies is how you unlock Meta Knight in Air Ride. I don't know. Way slower than the Warp Star. I wonder what I'm doing wrong. Like, how would Alex do this? I don't know. Couldn't tell you, man. 
Am I supposed to quick spin somebody? Like, we'll see. That didn't really seem to do much. Hmm. I missed. I missed. I hit him. I can't really tell what that did for me. I was thinking, like, maybe every time you kill an enemy, you get, like, maximum movement speed that just stays until you mess up. Or, like, slow yourself down. I really don't know how the Shadow Star worked. I was, like, spitballing earlier. Where I was like, hmm, well, maybe. Maybe. You, uh... Maybe you get, like, movement speed whenever you defeat an enemy. Oh, well, that guy destroyed me. You have to quick spin fairly close to, uh... To enemies. Well, that was four seconds faster. I don't know what I did different. I need to. I really need more games on the Shadow Star to figure out how this thing works. Look, look how slow that was. Three hundred of your enemies. Okay, yeah. So we're a third of the way to a thousand. Cool. Just keep practicing the Shadow Star, I suppose. Cause like I was thinking about this. It's it feels really shitty to not just like rush achievements instantly and do this thing where I show off stages. And I show off, uh, just keep killing enemies, like, they, they add up. It feels lame to not just, like, rush as fast as I possibly can, but, uh, you know, by, by taking our time like this and really getting to know all the things, okay, that time I stopped pretty quickly, I wonder why. I wonder which one of these paths is the best. I don't know, two more enemies defeated, though. A lot of plasma whips around here. There's an achievement for riding all three of these, which is impossible with the base lap count of two. Anyway, my train of thought got interrupted again. Um, going slow like this allows us to... It allows us to be more... Uh, what's, what's the word? I'm not sure. Not consistent, but like, I guess in a way consistent? It's like, it's, it's more drawn out content that I can use for longer instead of like, I don't know, content that is more exciting, but is, it seems like it goes really quick when you boost. Whoa, don't blow yourself up. Definitely slower to go down into that steam. There's just so many places to make mistakes in this stage. Oh, I remember it being such a nightmare in a, in a few missions. The one that took the longest was uh, a course we haven't been to yet called Machine Passage. That place, <coughs> you have to do a certain time on the Rex wheelie, which is really hard to con control. So that, yeah, you can go underneath here. That's pretty neat, huh? And then down here, there's a boost. Here, there's a boost. Over here, there's a boost. Those guys are a freaking mile away, dude. Can I, like, do this? Because I'm pretty sure there's an achievement for hitting every boost. But maybe I missed the one on the rock. That's always possible that I missed the one on the rock. Ate that man through the wall. Makes perfect sense. Somehow this Bronto bird survived. Can I outrun the star? Not even close. Very quick. I like how you can actually see the star traveling all the way off into the distance. But, um... Yeah, this this series is gonna go on for a very long time. So by slowly doing the... Like, slowly inking out the content like this, by, uh... Not just by, like, slowly showing all these things, but also by... You know, one episode we're doing Air Ride, another episode we're doing city trial, like, top ride, we're switching back and forth, doing all three, like, at the same time. I think by doing that, it does lend to not getting burned out as quickly as well, which could be beneficial, especially when, you know, when you do that, it, it slides less than the warp star, but it gives a smaller boost. I ate two people there, but the there's no broom ability in this game. Let's drop a bomb there, I guess. 
Uh, I did see that I missed an achievement that's super easy in City Trial. Uh, did the enemies respawn inside the explosion, or were there more that I didn't see? I don't know. But there, the question mark area that's in that one building, there is a... Uh, let's try to get the, like, every boost one. Don't judge me. So I hit those three, I think there's two more. That always feels lame. Wait, what? Very big boost. If you boost, or you use the boost with the Shadow Star, you get like 60 miles per hour. Very crazy. Beat this guy. Very good ability for Kirby Melee, which I barely didn't get the 50 enemy achievement. <laughs> But, uh, I don't even remember if I finished my thought, but, yeah, if you go to the question mark in City Trial and get the bomb ability, that's that's an entire achievement right there. A ton of achievements are just, like, random stadiums, like, get this time on this ship, or just get this time. Other ones are just, like, they're all related to the events. There's a few that are in the city that I'm pretty sure that I didn't get. Uh, one, I have to destroy all the rocks around the volcano. Oh yeah, I didn't... I didn't do the thing I was supposed to do. Don't judge me. There's this one. And then there's this one. And then there's one more here. Right? Yeah. That should be all of them, right? Pretty sure. Alright. Another five enemies defeated. Start farming enemies. Because that mic there is basically guaranteed to hit a bunch a bunch of people. It seems like it gets three to five every single time. There we go. Get every boost. I remember that one being kind of problematic. Yeah, use all the boost panels, finish first. Just like, it's pretty much how every single Magma Flows goes. So let's do another Fantasy Meadows or, or two. Because I only have three minutes left. And I'm not sure how long. I have Magma Pen, man. It's like two, two minutes, 20 seconds. So actually we're good. Top speed seems to be about 19. I don't know, dude. Pretty quick over here. Oh, that was satisfying. Like, three enemies killed at once. The achievements in top right are actually the most fun to collect. At least in my opinion. Like, they seem very fun. It's just... Have a good time racing. It... Did not try to hit the bomb enemy. Interesting. I didn't even really know. Let's see if my speed increases when I'm hitting enemies. Doesn't look like it does. So that myth is debunked. The Shadow Star does not gain movement speed from uh, from killing enemies or hitting enemies. So maybe it just has more attack power. I don't know, I'm kind of trying to figure this out figure out how this this uh, vehicle functions and now let's actually like do do some stalling here so that more uh, th like a possible sleep enemy can spawn over here there's a scarfy it's unfortunate I think there is something in air ride that I haven't done yet which is literally just as simple as spin as you pass the finish line so let's do that. I don't have much time left, so let's do Sword of Star. No fucking around. I just need to spin as I get first place. That was a lot of enemies getting hit there. Sorry, being quiet, just kind of trying to focus. It's not letting me spin. You really want to be close to that when you do that. Which is unfortunate. Wait, I just got the exact same time two laps in a row. Not quite enough time in this video, sadly, so I have to end it here. RIP. Bro, I don't see it. 